Vivo Philippines has just released the newest addition to its entry-level smartphone offerings and they've reached out to let us check it out. Hi guys, my name is Joseph of Davao Geek Hub and this is my unboxing and first impressions of the Vivo Y02s. Before we start, if you are new to this channel, do consider subscribing and hit the notification bell to get notified when we upload new videos. Now back to the video. We start off to see what accessories it comes with out of the box. Inside is the device itself, but let's set that aside for now. Next we have the quick start guide and warranty information. We also have a power brick or charger. USB Type-C cable which is nice to see on an entry-level phone and lastly is a SIM ejector tool. Now let's check out the Vivo Y02s. They've sent us the vibrant blue colorway. Firstly, this is an entry-level phone so you need to manage your expectation about its specs and capabilities. But it does have pretty decent specs compared to its price point. It's packed with a Helio P35 chipset, 3 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of storage, and 5000 mAh of battery capacity. Feel free to pause the video for the full specs displayed on the screen. Now taking a closer look at the device, we'll first notice the back's design. It looks like frosted glass and feels smooth to the touch. What I like about the texture is that you can't really leave any fingerprints on it. I'm guessing that it's scratch resistant too. Its sides are not rounded so some people might not find it comfortable compared to curved sides. It does have rounded corners though and it helps a little bit in ergonomics. For button layout, we have nothing on the left side. On the right are the power and volume buttons. Up top is where we'll find the SIM card tray. And at the bottom are the audio jack, mic, USB Type-C port, and single firing speaker. The new Vivo phone also features a 6.51 inch HD Plus Halo full view display. It's an IPS display and it's actually quite good considering its price. But I did notice that it has a warmer turn compared to other screens. But it seems to be okay now after a software update. Though you can always adjust it in the display settings. Sound quality on its single firing speaker isn't actually great, but it's not that bad either. It's loud enough for casual listening but not enough to fill the whole room. Its mids are good but I do find the highs and bass a bit lacking. It does come with an audio jack though so you can use wired or wireless earphones if you want. I won't go deep on its audio quality here since it's just my first impressions though. But I leave my remaining opinions about it on the full review. Now performance wise, the Y02s is pretty decent for its price. It doesn't really lag on normal use, but it does slow down on resource heavy apps like a video editor. I couldn't play Genshin Impact at this time because it's low on storage space. So if you're planning on playing that on this phone, you should have an external micro SD card installed. Battery life is great. Its 5000 mAh battery really helps it last long. In fact, a full charge actually lasted more than 2 days on my first usage. Though bear in mind that it's not my usual heavy usage. Charging may take longer though since it doesn't come with an included fast charger. And I don't think it actually supports fast charging. But you can't really expect that feature in this price range though, so it'll have to do. Now for the last part, and probably what most people are curious about is its camera quality. At first glance, you might think that it features a dual camera setup, but it actually doesn't. This one here is actually its LED flash, and not a camera lens. Nevertheless, it does have an 8MP main shooter that captures photos fine. And at the front, we have a 5MP selfie camera. Here are some quick sample photos with the cameras. If you are interested in the Vivo Y02S, it is now available for purchase here in the Philippines. 
The entry-level phone currently has a price tag of only 6,499 pesos. I'll post a Shopee link below in the description box. So that's it for my unboxing and first impressions of the device. I hope that you found it useful and informative. If you enjoyed the video, do give us a thumbs up or comment. And also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. In-depth review will be on written form over at doublegeekhub.com, so check it out when it gets published. Link will also be below. Once again, this has been Joseph. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.